and we're back welcome back everybody this should be a very exciting video I gathered all my genuine Kenmore sewing machine manuals put them in one pile and I'm about to do a short video flipping through them and showing what I have to offer we'll start with number one here right in front how to use your Kenmore attachments illustrations Sears Kenmore button holder how to use your Kenmore attachments again what I find is that these come in small booklets with different types of attachments like this one's like eight can I get the last page ten pages there's ten pages on this one I think yeah I think that's the last page model 1227 covers a little beat up model 86 missing the back cover model 1221 see if I could do this that seems to work model 52 this type looks a little thicker here let's just take a look at this 1500 and this one has about 32 pages or so Fifteen hundred, thirteen, eighteen, twenty-three. Don't know if that goes in there or not, we'll leave it in there. Model 1654. Should be a picture of it right there in the beginning. Model 85. Kiko! There she is. Model 23. I think I was looking for that machine the other day. What do we have here? 1690. Well, this is a crazy booklet. It opens like that and it goes. I can't get ready straight and zigzag oh, that's pretty cool how that's set up there's a picture of the machine down there that's a 1690 then a very similar book in a 1680 hmm. okay this one doesn't flip down like that one did it just starts right off the bat here pretty cool and a 1680 again, this one's in plastic. Um, 1311. 1311, there she is. Pretty thick book. What do we on this one? A lot of memos, pages in the back. Uh, it's not quite numbered. Kenmore Kenmore 
got a little, little insert in there. Singer 1320. Where are you? There she is. That's how these books are, they tell you. Give you numbers for the diagrams. 1570. 1570. 19. Ooh, 1946. Super high shank. I do believe. A Kenmore. Let me. Uh, 17921. That would be a uh, 1790. That's probably a, a 1182. Yep. A model 1913. Nice. I believe that's another super high shank. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Nice book. A model 1774. 1774. Ah. Ooh. Good books. And a Sears model 1030. Your lightweight machine. Got some writing on it. Who it belonged to? California. Wow. Came from California. How'd that happen? Okay, well. Maybe it'll go back to California. It's in Michigan now. Alright. Model 1774. There she is. Tells you how to the tension on the bobbin case. All the good stuff. How to use your Kenmore electric rotary sewing machine. Ooh. Two of them like this. Hold on. Very interesting. Oh, no kidding. He got the screwdriver. Hey, check this out. Accessories and attachments. Hey. Has the names of the sharing plate. Okay. Cloth guide, thumb screw, cutting gauge, screwdriver, what's that thing? A combination screwdriver and wrench. Interesting stuff. So there's two like that. Getting through the back. Model. 385-1778 Another 385-1764 in plastic and then we have multi-languages Motto 385. I guess it's good for a di couple different models, uh, is what I'm getting at it. I guess they're all in the 385 series. Oh, let me put it down. Hold on. Focus points here. Okay, that's easier to read too for me. 385, 1521, 385, 1561. And maybe the fifth number makes it. We'll do that again. 385-15212, 385-15616, 385-15718. A 
there goes one of those inserts that are meant to fall out, I think. I don't know if they do that anymore. They used to do that with the old magazines. They, they, would, they were meant to slip out and fall on the ground and someone would pick it up. It's like advertising. Um, 385-1823. Wow. Last one. 385-1612. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you see anything you like here, I'll leave a link in the description. If you're not joined my Facebook group yet, you can click the link join and send me a personal message there to make an order. PayPal is accepted. I do accept USPS money orders only. So, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.